Okay, so standing cable shoulder press. You can do a shoulder press any different ways. You can do it seated, you can do it standing, you can do it kneeling if you wanted to. Um, you can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with a barbell, you can do it with a Smith machine, a Smith machine. Uh, and I have videos for all these, but today we are going to do uh, cables. Standing up. Now, what I want to do when I'm doing this is I really want to make sure that I'm not overarching my back, because then what I'm trying to do actually is I'm trying to make it a bit of an incline chest press, okay? So I'm going to want to make sure that I choose a weight that allows me, select the right weight, that allows me to stay crunched forward so my back is nice and straight. I like to stagger my stance like this while I'm doing the shoulder press. Some people like to stand with their feet beside each other. Either is fine. Um, I find I'm a little less likely to overarch like this if I'm staggered this way. I don't know why that's just how it works for me. So that's what I like to do. You do whatever you're comfortable with. The actual motion of a shoulder press, if you have good shoulders, if you don't have good shoulders, if you have shoulder problems, you may not even want to do this, check with your trainer. But the first adjustment you want to make if you, your shoulders are a little bit iffy is you don't want to come all the way down, okay? If my shoulders are okay, I want to come down right here to my chin, but if not, come down to your arms are at about 90 degrees. So that's kind of like when your hands are above your ears, okay? Not a full range of motion, only a partial like half range of motion. And if that still doesn't work, try rotating your hands in like this. Add up to bring your elbows together and do this, okay? Your shoulders are out of normal position when they're like this. I mean, we don't walk around like this, right? But it's not unusual to walk around like this if I'm putting something on a shelf, for example. You know, you think about what do we do in, in everyday life. When I put things on a shelf, I don't like this. Oh, no, I tend to keep my hands together like this or close my elbows closer together, right? So that's a little more of a natural motion. So those are tweaks that you can make if you have shoulder problems, but there might be better ways of working your shoulders entirely rather than doing a shoulder press if you do have shoulder problems. Check with your trainer, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, in order to pick these cables up, I always wanna protect my lower back. I don't wanna just bend over sloppily and pick them up. I wanna literally squat down to get them, okay? So squat position, feet shoulder width apart, nice tight stomach, my back is straight. I'm just gonna bend down, pick this one up, bend down, pick this one up. I'm gonna stand up with them, and then I'm gonna curl it up, curl it up, stagger, and here we go. Breathe in, and out, in, out. because I have tight lats, okay? That is one thing I, I need to work on. I need to stretch my lats. So what you want to do is you want to see yourself, see I can't even do it without uh, arch overarching my back and, and I can't even straighten my arms totally. You want to make sure you're not coming out in front like this. That's tight lats. You want to be up over your head and you want your arms to be straight. I can't do that without overarching my back. So your trainer's going to want to show you if that's the case how to stretch your lats so that you can do this motion. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to get your arms straight up over your head, okay? Not here, but over your head, arms straight at the top without overarching your back to do it, okay? So that's a standing cable shoulder press. Oh, muscles worked, front deltoid muscle, side deltoid muscle, the front deltoid muscle raises your arms like this, side like this, they combine to bring your arms up over your head. 